Bring George Horn tonight. The owner and captain of Horn's Ferry died last week at 76 years old. 7 News reporter Thomas Caffarella has more. Horn's Ferry docked at Wolf Island. The ferry connects the U.S. to Canada through Cape Vincent, but is not running after the death of longtime captain George Horn. Calls are coming in from friends to family. Very sorry. I hope you and your, the rest of your family are doing well. Take care. Bye. That's Glenn Lefebvre. He worked as a U.S. immigration inspector. He routinely worked with Horn for close to 20 years, leading them to become closer friends. And I would call him sometime and just see how he was doing and what was going on. During his time at the border, Lefebvre remembers the passion Horn had for his business. He didn't wear his heart on his sleeve. He, he was serious about it, but by the hours that he put in, uh, he was very very serious about his job. Apart from the individual impact George made on people's lives, he also had an impact on the area. It's not only a, a unique service, but uh, one that kind of gives us an identity to Cape Vincent. I believe it's one of the only uh, international ferry services left in our country. Golden says the village is willing to work with the Horn family in discussing ways to get the ferry carrying cars again. There will be a visitation for George Horn at James Reed Funeral Home in October. Donations made to the Wolf Island Volunteer Fire Department would be appreciated by family. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.